Hello Cancerians and very welcome to your January 2022 general reading. Happy New Year! Well, <clears throat> Cancerians, as you know, you are governed by the moon. And the new year begins with, uh, well, almost, begins with a new moon, which will be happening on the 2nd of January. So, therefore, as Cancerians, if you want to start anew, if you want to start over, you know, on the 2nd of January, you already have um, a new moon that helps with um, planning this. And it's important to realize, because the new moon is obviously the moon phase where there is no light and then it takes two weeks for the new moon which is not illuminated to actually get to the full moon which means as light comes in slowly whatever it is you're manifesting might also need some time to fully go into bloom if that makes sense right so but yeah makes sense for you to actually start thinking about what it is you want and um manifest it so when the new moon comes around <coughs> excuse me you are more than ready also interesting there's another date for your diary before we actually finally kick this off somehow on the 8th of january the moon is right between jupiter and saturn and what that means is because you are governed by the moon which means your emotions are sort of sandwiched between the planet that is sort of expanding anything and everything he touches. So Jupiter is, is actually quite a powerful energy, which goes like, yeah, go for things, right? Do what you came here to do, a pushy energy, for want of a better word. And on the other side of that coin, of, the, of your moon, will be Saturn. And Saturn is basically teaching through restrictions. So on the 8th of January, this might be the one day where you are probably being very confused <laughs> about what it is um, you ought to be doing. So the trick is to just relax on that day, right? So I'm using the, the Atlantis deck for this reading, dear Cancerians. And what we do is we're going to separate the video slightly in areas. Um, so we look at the overall energy for the month of January 2022 for the star sign of Cancer. Then we will go into your emotional core. Um, before we then go into opportunities, and opportunities are usually what sustains you financially. Are you ready? Okie dokie, let's do this. Let's have a look at the overall energy for the months ahead. Cancerians. Yeah, they give me more than one. <laughs> you have recording crystals and cooperation. What that means is, the idea about crystals has always been that they are not only charged, if that makes sense, but they are different crystals for different things. And when it says here recording crystals, that really is a reminder to you that whatever it is you went through, right, is recorded in the fabrics of time. So what they're asking you with the crystals is actually to surround yourself with crystals this month in particularly, and look at your recordings, right? Have you started releasing stuff that has been recorded in your history, if that makes sense, um, that still sits there? So they're asking you literally to reflect, um, but do it with the power and with the help of crystals because you have the, the next uh, energy here is cooperation. And that means that it's important for Cancerians this month to not go things entirely alone and to not necessarily work against situations, but see if you can work with situations. And because you had the uh, recording crystals coming in, this is important in the sense that should you be in a situation where you feel it isn't helping you, it isn't fulfilling you, then ultimately it's not the place to be for you. Having said that, with the energy of cooperation, see if you need to get out of this, want to get out of this, see if there is a way to get out of this without much friction, if that makes sense, right? And that was the overall energy for the month of January 2022. Please, please, please um, 
use crystals and then look at your trauma, look at your um, relationships, look at what made you you up to this point in time. And remember that the goddess of the moon um, was Selina and the stone that is associated the strongest with the moon is the selenite. Let's have a look. There's a selenite right here. There you go. Right. That's a selenite. So this is the most powerful um, crystal for your governing planet, which is the planet that always, always has got your back, Cancerians. Right? Let's look at your um, emotional core. It could be trauma, could be could be love. You know, let's have a look. Again, getting quite a lot. You have the 12 chakras, telepathy, and the sphinx. Can't pronounce sphinx. <laughs> that thing. Right? So, how this works is. They're asking you to realize that what you need with regards to your emotions this month is to be aligned and to understand that you come from the stars, right? Which makes sense because your overall energy was about crystals. And so um, you probably are already familiar that we have seven physical chakras um, and animals have actually eight because they have been here longer. So they have a see-through chakra um, that we probably will get in time. But they're talking about the 12 chakras and they're normally, you know, you have seven and then they go up. Right. And so what they're basically asking you is to commune and communicate with your guides and remembering that you come from somewhere in the Pleiadians. And that you came from the stars and that you are made out of stardust, if that makes sense. right? So, in other words, it is pointless and not helpful for Cancerians in the month of January 2022 to give in to frustration. If there is anything where you feel it isn't quite working, try to have high thoughts. right? See the good in, in situations and assess things from a higher point of view. Because when you have the 12 chakras, what that really means is what the guides are asking you to look at with regards to any trauma you have, anything you want to change with regards to how you feel, is to look for alignment. right? And then in the middle you have telepathy. Telepathy is a weird word. It literally means silent language. And that really means, again, it's about stepping back a little, seeing things from a higher point of view. Because telepathy, silent language, means that what we do very well is actually reading energies, right? You know exactly if someone enters a room and, you, and the energy is off, you can tell, right? And this is an innate thing that we all have. Now, since this is your middle card, your middle energy, for that section of the reading, what they're asking you, Cancerians, is to trust your intuition, right? Don't figure out in, conver in conversations um, what the other person is trying to say. Feel it. Look at them, look at their body language, find out what your emotions and what your intuition tells you about situations. Because what I'm getting here is, for Cancerians for the, man, for the month of January 2022 is that the guides are not super concerned about your love life, if that makes sense, even though this might well be um, about your intimate relationship, if that makes sense, but they're not showing me anything about new love coming in. They're showing me literally with the, with the empathy here, um, uh, with the energy here, energy here, is for you to understand that you know how people are when you trust your intuition. And because my energy feeling that they give me, or the feeling that they give me is the energy, is that Cancerians at this point in time, um, you might feel quite out of balance, maybe a bit stressed. And all the guides are saying is, if that's the case, that's one more reason to look back um, into who you truly are, right? Um, again, when I say this, they're making me sit upright, um, which, which sort of, you know, triggers my tailbone, which has to do with understanding that you're not living in the past, right? So that's another really important thing for you. Outgoing energy here for you is the Sphinx, that Egyptian thing, <laughs> right? 
it just means that the Sphinx was or is um, and has always been seen as one of the most powerful symbols for unity, if that makes sense. Right? Really, really important when people came to the Sphinx, um, when, when, when priests and priestesses um, did their ritual, the Sphinx was really there to amplify everything. If that makes sense. And so what they're asking you is the outgoing energy. Again, seems to be a theme here for Cancerians. To be your true spiritual self. Because that's who you truly are. Okay? That was your emotional core. Now let's have a look at the final part for this reading. Which is opportunities for the month of January 2022 for the star sign of Cancer, you're watching Energy and Star Sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share because that really helps me big time growing the channel. If you like my work, you can also support me now by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Here's the um, messages for um, upcoming opportunities or whatever it is the guides want you to look at. Right. With regards to opportunities, in the, in the month of January 2022, for the star sign of Cancerians, you have the High Priestess and you have sound and music. The High Priestess, again, again, there's a big theme here for Cancerians this month to really look at your emotional core and understand that you're carrying stuff with you that doesn't help. Opportunities will come to you the higher your energy is. Right? So don't just idle some men and try to get through things. Elevate yourself, right? That's, that's your high priestess here, right? Elevate yourself and trust yourself. When you elevate yourself, people have, you have to literally deserve you first, right? And that's important for Cancerians, you know, give your self-esteem a boost. And then outgoing energy is sound and music, which is basically a way of, of, of saying that you are, like we all are, a being of vibration and opportunities will find you quicker, again, it's all about energy, um, when your energy is higher, and so what they're, what, they're, what they're suggesting here for you, or advising you to do, is to actually either play music, right, or do some healing, there could be sound healing that you could do, there could be, um, you know, um, googling uh, f um, healing frequencies on YouTube, right, or just listen to your um, preferred style of music, if that makes sense. What I'm also getting with regards to sound and music for the star sign of Cancer in the month of January 2022 is to try, whatever that means, to listen to music when you listen to it um, for alignment, because that's a big topic here for Cancerians this month, and for relaxation and for just letting stuff go, you could be easily distracted by lyrics, right? So what I'm hearing is to also have a look if you can find instrumental music, preferably soothing, um, that can help you let go. Because the, the main thing here that they sort of hinted at is with all the help they're offering you, you know, with, being, with the priestess being high, uh, with the, the selenite, you know, aligned, and then the 12 chakras, ultimately it's all about you understanding that you come from the stars and that you're not alone here. And that you probably just need to realize, you know, as the spiritual person you are, maybe it's time I did some journeys, maybe it's time I did some meditation and actually communicate and talk to my guides to get some proper help here because there is a feeling of isolation um, with cancer in the month of January. And that is very likely because when they highlighted that on the 2nd of January we have a new moon and you are the star sign that is governed by the moon, um, it is really important that anything that doesn't work actually gets changed. Also, we had the, the year 2021. So when you look at the numbers, two and two and one, is five. Five is the number of change. Now, three is the number of progression. Nine is the number of completion. And you have the number six, because 2022 is three twos. Two, two, two is six, right? Can't pronounce the H, <laughs> right? So because you're already strongly progressing to reaching whatever it is you have to go through, right? The energy of the very year 2022 
will be much better than it was in 2021. So make this work for you, Cancerians. Okie dokie, that's all I got for you. See you all next month.